Cheers. What can I get you? Oh, a glass of white wine would be nice. I haven't seen you around here before. No, you wouldn't have. Surprised to see me. What are you doing here? Now that's a nice welcome for your wife. But my aim's improved. Well, I thought you'd have calmed down by now. Oh, I'm calm. Don't you worry. Yeah, you look it. Where are you going now? I'm going upstairs to get dressed. All right. Don't bother on my account. You look fine as you are. And don't even think about following me. Don't even get a kiss hello, then. I may not be the first woman in your life, Dad. But I'm definitely going to be the last. <laughs> You'll never get me out of that thing. Dead. This isn't a parking fine you've cheated on. We've got to end up in fire. I'm in prison now and I have to keep this up forever and ever. I can't do it, Chrissy. We shouldn't have buried him. This is all your fault. Why did I listen to you? You selfish little bitch. It's never about you, is it, Zoe? But you'll do anything to get what you want. You have destroyed Dennis. You slept with my husband. You aborted his child. And when you go and tell the police, what are you going to tell them? That none of this was your fault? You killed Den. I saw you. And no amount of talking is going to change that. And the only reason, the only reason we buried him was to save you! <laughs> Good night, Dan. You didn't the next day or the day after that. You just watched her tearing herself to bits because she thought she'd killed someone when all the time you knew that you'd done it. She was your plan B, wasn't she? Oh. In case it went pear-shaped, you had someone you could stick it on. God, is that what you think of me? <laughs> I ain't even started what I think of you. Well, then it doesn't matter what I say, then, does it? Mind you, it doesn't matter what you say, either. Because there's nothing you can do. <laughs> now, nah. you're going to pay for what you did. And every finger your scumbag husband put on my daughter. Oh, why? That was down to Dan. It wasn't down to me. Well, he's copped it, and he? So you get the lot, debts and all. There is nothing that you can do, Kat. I could pull your whole life down. Just a few choice words. No, you can't. Because Zoe's as guilty as I'm... Oh, is that right? Yes! She hit him first. So in the eyes of the law, she's as much of a murderer as I am. You cannot do a thing to me without dragging your precious little daughter into it. So he's safe in Spain. Oh, haven't you heard of extradition? No, probably not. Oh, is that the kind of mother that you are, cat? Yeah, hands off. Don't mind packing your daughter off to a life on the run. Well, you see her once every couple of years. Shame she's such a weak little girl. Weak! <gasps> oh, she wouldn't last a day and you know she it! She ain't weak! She's innocent! Innocent! She kicked the whole thing off in the first place. She slipped with my husband, so don't see. <laughs> oh, is this it, Kat? Is this it? A couple of bitchy comments. Well, if, if this is it, we'll bring it on. But to be quick about it, because I've got a pub to run. It's over. Get it off your chest! Do something right for once in your miserable little life. Tell us what you did to him. Tell him you're sorry. Peggy, I've had enough of this. I said tell him! Peggy, Peggy tell Dan you're sorry. <laughs> tell Dan! <laughs> You must be Chrissy. Who the hell are you? Grant Mitchell. Mitchell. Name ring a bell, does it? What do you want? Well, you can start by explaining why my little sister's in prison. No! Oh, no, you don't! No. I haven't finished with you yet. It was obvious, Chrissy. Laying a false trail. 
And then doing it a second time around, that really was too obvious, don't you think? Well, you really are your father's daughter, Sharon. I'll give you that. No shaking you off, either. I may not be the first woman in your life, but I'll certainly be the last. That's what you said to Dad, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Well, this may not be the first time that this has happened to you. Oh, oh, and I hope it won't be the last! Enough, enough. Mrs. Chrissy Watts, I'm arresting you for the murder of Mr. Den Watts. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned anything you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. 